Welcome to Taita International Mining and Industrial City, creating wealth, empowering the nation. This city is the new frontier of Kenya wealth creation and economic empowerment through minerals, industries and socio-economic establishments. The vision of this city is to create wealth through extraction and processing of major and minor dominant mineral deposits that exist in the region, nation and Africa. And the vision is to establish a sustainable, clean mining and mineral value addition center that will promote international mineral trade, create jobs, capital formation and improving all aspects of the livelihood of the community and the nation. This city will be established in Taita Taveta County in over 20,000 acres, strategically available and located along Mombasa Road near Voi Town linking the East and Central African region. Water access from the existing Mzima Springs or Mwatate Dam or Mzima Springs Pipeline 2 or Lake Chala or Voi River or groundwater supplies including boreholes and springs through a big underground water reserve in the region. Electricity power access through a 33,000 kilowatt power line which is 5 kilometers from the site that will provide easy connection of proposed independent solar and coal power generation plant as well as connection to the current national power grid. There are also huge coal deposits in Maungu, Talu, Kitui and surrounding areas just a few kilometers from the city that will provide energy for mining and industrialization. On transport, the city will be connected to the standard gauge railway, which is currently being constructed. It is approximately 10 kilometers from the railway, with the location being Voi. The city will comfortably access the port in Mombasa, as well as Lamu through both road and railway. This will be a major boost to the mining and industrial activities in the city. This valuable and prestigious city will also be linked to the new proposed international trade zone by the government stretching from Mombasa to Voi that will provide export processing zone, warehousing and trade privileges. The close proximity to Tsavo National Park hotels and lodges adds value to the city, making it also part of national tourism and hospitality destination and circuit. This region has favorable climate for hospitality, mining and industrialization. The Taita region is sparsely populated, giving space for the mining work or city establishment and expansion with minimum human resettlement. This city's strategic central location and link to other major mineral rich counties such as Kitui, Makueni, Kilifi, Kwale and access to Tanzania makes it easy to consolidate bigger mineral and raw material volumes from the bigger region and make it a real hub of industrialization and trade. This city will have major benefits. For instance, employment, creating over 500,000 job opportunities during the construction phase of the project, as well as the mining and plants or factory operational phase of the city, improving standards of living among the locals in the area. The city will also be a source of revenue for the national government, county government and the region at large through tax and wealth creation. Infrastructural development for the community and county will also be a big benefit through the facilitation of investors, county and national government to support and service this city through improved roads, telecommunications and other social amenities. 
the rising of many other support business opportunities will be a great value, mainly increase of value for land, housing, boost of farming and livestock produce because of ready market supplies along with increase of mining investors because of mineral market and consumption demand in the city. The international location of Taita Taveta County as a mineral hub and resource is linked up to main international renowned mineral vein of the Mozambique belt which is heavily endowed with huge deposits of minerals in billions of tons according to credible geosurvey reports in some mines in the region. Many land and concession owners have already committed to be the source of raw material for the city mainly dreamland mines, kingdom mines, universal minerals and resources mines, savolite mines, wealthy mines, rich mines, shalom mines, oasis mines, gemstone mines, jubilee mines, champion mines, breakthrough mines, coast treasures mine, shilol mines, ebenezer mines, jubilee mines, kilifi, mkuki mines, mgeno mines, Talu mines and many others are still enlisted along with more. The management of Taita International Mining and Industrial City is still carrying out prospection in other pieces of land and the current estimates of land with minerals and existing mines stands at over 1 million acres of rich mining territory that ensures the project's relevance for over 100 years because of huge quantities of mineral reserves many of which are mountainous that gives comfort and that the environment damage and reclamation of land after mining will be minimum. Taita Taveta and the surrounding counties have confirmed deposits of many minerals including huge deposits of iron ore that the raw material in production of steel will promote the establishment of plants related to automobiles, locomotives, ships building, beams used in buildings, furniture and tools, reinforcing rods for concrete, bicycles and many of the other items that use metal, which is the most used material by both tonnage and purpose. This region has huge deposits of copper that will be instrumental in establishing copper processing plant along with factories and plants related to electrical and electronics accessories building materials and others that use copper as its raw material. With many mines having huge deposits of titanium, this justifies the establishment of related uses such as bicycle frames, automobile and plane parts and in medicine plants. The huge backup of coal from Talu and Kitui will support the smelting of iron ore to steel, generation of electricity, source of heat for manufacturing processes in bricks and cement, power source for factories, heat steam, drive mechanical devices along with supporting production of plastics, roofing, linoleum, synthetic rubber, insecticides, paint products, medicines, solvents and synthetic fibers all include some coal-derived compounds. There are huge deposits of manganese in this region that will be mixed with iron to make various types of steel, promoting the establishment of plants linked with the production of batteries, ceramics, pesticides and fertilizers, and in dietary supplements. The region is rich with lime used as a reagent in flue gas desulfurization, cement, glass making, paper, plastics, paint, tiles, animal feeds and other materials. Aluminium processing from the huge deposits of this mineral is a big platform for insulation factories, construction fabrics such as windows, doors, siding, building wire, household items, sports equipment, photographic equipment, electrical accessories among many other related establishments. Many mineral concessions also have sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate that will be useful in setting up factories and plants for manufacture of natural deodorant, salts, 
pesticides, detergents and soaps, mattresses, medicine, polishes, kitchen accessories and among many other related uses linking to various factories. Silicon is also in huge quantities in this region that will be used in steel refining, aluminium casting and establishing fine chemical industries related to production of waterproofing treatments, molding compounds, waxes, explosives and pyrotechnics. Gypsum and potassium oxide will empower the production of various types of fertilizers. It is an ionic compound of potassium and oxygen. This pale yellow solid, the simplest oxide of potassium, is rarely used as a fertilizer and in other medical applications. The huge deposits of various gemstones, mainly green garnets, blue sapphire, savalites, opar, yellow garnets, tanzanites, rubies, green and yellow tourmaline, among many more, will establish the ornaments and equipment factories, such as beauty and scientific instruments plants, along with gemstones international trade center and gemstones polishing centers. Many other factories and plants that are related to mineral deposits in this region, such as nickel, amethyst, peridot, iolite, spinel, rhodolites and kyanites, calcium, chromium, chromite, granite, aquamarine, sand marum and other minor and major deposits established in the region are in the vision of establishment. The Taita International Mining Center will be a major hub of mining, industry and trade with the establishment of priority factories and plants including iron ore processing steel plant, nickel and copper plant, tiles and ceramic factory, manganese processing plant, motor vehicle assembly plant, building and roofing products factory, fertilizer industries, cement factory, gold processing plant to process and refine gold from Kenya and other nations including Congo, Tanzania and Sudan. Glass plants, pharmaceutical industries, smelting factories, gemstone processing plant, copper processing plant, vehicle assembly plant, mineral training and research center and laboratories, EPZ factories and trade warehouses, trucks and machinery yards for sales and repair, petrol and service stations, ICT center and many more relevant technical establishments. The city will be backed up by support infrastructure along with social economic institutions and establishments that includes over 30,000 residential units for expatriates and workers, schools, colleges and universities, mega shopping malls and business centers, international class golf course, clubhouses, commercial office blocks, five-star hotel linked to holiday villas and apartments, a modern and well-furnished hospital, an international airport, power generation plant, stadium and sports recreation center with water sports, police station and security center, firefighting centers, tree nursery combined reclamation for natural seeds, for mine reclamation and environmental conservation, spiritual vitality centers and other social economic facilities and services. We, the management of Taita Mining City, invite you to partner, collaborate and invest with the first ever Kenya's international mining and industrial city, whose investment will be worth over 1 trillion shillings, equivalent to and turning around returns of over 100 trillion dollars through the mineral value in this region and the greater territory that will be served by this city. Please note that mining has no big risk because mineral deposits are confirmed and they are never affected by weather or time. A mining consultant once said that the only risk in mining is failing to mine or doing it wrongly. No other risk on investment since this project has received a good reception because of its value to the communities, the coast region along with the county and the national government because of its numerous benefits. Transform Taita Tafeta 2020 uh, is about uh, changing the quality of life of the people of this county. We want to have uh, urban to rural migration. 
and therefore it is us as counties, whatever we have been allocated for the division of our revenue allocation, to utilize it so that we create a lot of employment opportunities. It may not be through white collar job opportunities, but through creating investment opportunities. The key thing to make sure that we all benefit from the mineral wealth is one, to make sure that there is proper consultation and also to make sure that we respect the rule of law and order so that any player, whether it is Mwananchi or an investor, follows what, what, the, laws, uh, what the laws say. We have plans to make sure that there is land available for any investor who will come requiring land to invest in our county. So far, we have proposed to have one million acres of land for anybody who wants to come and invest in Taita Taveta County. And we hope if we achieve that, we will transform our county in 2020. Uh, well, 2020 is only about six years away. So in as much as six years appears short, uh, but nevertheless, uh, accepting something else is to accept the fact that people will remain thirsty uh, longer, uh, will remain hungry longer, uh, will have to contend with poor health facilities longer, uh, and also poor education standards longer. And in my view, that is not acceptable, it's not sustainable, and that's why we have to push ourselves to make sure that by the year 2020, uh, we have indeed truly transformed the quality of life of the people of this county. We are restructuring the Ministry of Mining. We are creating uh, approximately three departments. Yeah, one is the Directorate of Mines, then the Directorate of Geological Surveys, and then the uh, Directorate of Value Addition. The beauty about the mining sector is that there is so much around it, from food, from health services, from employment, from infrastructure, yeah, all services you must supply. It's a whole industry of its own. So what we are saying is that can we build capacity of our Kenyan companies and say they'll be able to supply. And we are coming with a standalone law that we want to secure businesses for local companies, that is those are Kenyans, so that we can be able to benefit beyond just unemployment. And if each one of them generates one additional job, we could have potentially created 500,000 jobs. And a really focused approach in helping the SMEs to do exactly that is by making sure that the 30% procurement process of the government, at least 30% goes to the small and medium-sized enterprises in this country. So the, this is something that we have a feel for how many jobs are being created. And in any economy, whether it's developed world or local, for every 10 jobs that are created, between 8 and 9 are created by the small and medium-sized businesses. There is time for everything. And very many things are now blowing in our direction as a way of, and, and for us to take advantage of, whether it's in the high labor intensive industries, whether it's the BPO industries. So the opportunity actually it is for us to grab, and that is what we are working on as the Ministry of Industry as well as other colleagues in the government. My dear brothers and sisters, scarcity of opportunity lies at the root of many challenges facing our nation. Although our economy has grown and diversified, it cannot provide all the jobs and opportunities that many Kenyans need. Only an expanded economy operating within a just and equitable context can do that. Accelerated economic growth, therefore, lies at the heart of our vision to empower the people. This is the basis of my government's commitment to transform Kenya. Shared prosperity is the soul of this commitment. We believe that this is the only way to go, and my government's transformational agenda is therefore unstoppable. My government seeks to enable everybody in this country to contribute to national development and that everybody similarly benefits from it. Today, therefore, I call on each one of us to play our part to make Kenya even greater. Let us work with all our might to build this nation. If you are a farmer till the land, as though only you can...
can save your fellow Kenyan from hunger because that is indeed true. If you are a teacher, guide your pupils as though the destiny of every young Kenyan is in your hands because indeed it is. If you are a medic, treat your patients like our men and women in uniform protect our communities as though every Kenyan life depends on you because indeed it does. Whatever you do, know that it is integral to the national agenda and that your fellow citizens need you. Let us appreciate the power of the individual to effect real change. Every one of us plays a part in shaping our collective destiny. Do not be the one who did nothing. Do not miss this valuable opportunity to become part of the next level of Kenya's industrialization and investment environment that has been rated lately among the top destinations for investors worldwide, offering security, friendly investor policies, hospitable, serene sceneries, culture and weather, and a strong trained workforce. For more information, visit our website at www.taitaminingcity.com and contact our secretariat through telephone numbers 0724-700-683 or 0722-826-498 or 0722-738-142 or 0717-673-331. A wise investor said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a process, working together is a success. God bless Kenya, God bless the Taita International Mining and Industrial City. In God we trust and in Him we lean to make this entire great and valuable dream come to pass by His grace and provision. To God be the glory. Amen. Amen.